Hi guys. So um, yesterday uh, I was live, and I guess while I was live, Austin had gone on Kendra's show, um, and I think he was trying to that his subscribers um, paid him money to go, to appear on her show. And of course, he went there with an agenda. And Kendra is a very smart girl. Uh, she sues who he's a scam. And I, I don't think it worked out well for him. I didn't watch the interaction, but um, I, I watched him after, you know, after the show. And you could see he had, he was shocked. Like you could see he, you know, his face was nervous. Um, I think Austin has this delusion that everyone in America knows him. And I think the fact that she didn't know him um, was, you know, a very, uh, that was probably that hurt his fragile ego. And the fact that uh, she actually just kicked him, um, almost kicked him off he, her, um, her show, probably also um, was not a nice thing for him. I'm going to play the, the show and then I will comment. Kendra, pick Austin Hollerman from the back room. OK, Austin, let me see your room. Austin, I have to make sure you're not a webcam. Right now, I'm not sure. Show me the other side of your room, Austin. I know you spent a hundred dollars to get selected, but I got to see this whole room. I got to see the other side. Keep going. What is that? Oh yeah. So no, you're a webcam. <laughs> so you were trying to. I am not being mean, but the room he is in, in his dad's house, it looks almost like, you know, um, doesn't look like a normal place. That's probably why she thought he was, you know, um, some webcamer. Uh, wait, no, did it switch? Do it again, Austin. <laughs> Show me the whole room. The other side. The other side. Go the go the other way. Go the other way. Uh, by the way, uh, you know what? Um, let me give. Are you ready? Hold on, hold on, Mama. Yes, I'm ready. Hold on. Let me okay. No, I had to make sure you wasn't a webcam. Okay. I want to give credit to the person from which, uh, from um, where I got this uh, video, and the person is the account, the channel that I got this from. It's not from Kendra. I got it from Time Travel. Uh, he they only have two subscribers so go please go and subscribe to them hopefully they are a good channel and i'm going to subscribe to them too let me see i'm sorry because you look like a webcam thank you <laughs> oh my god because he's so nervous that he thought that was a compliment when she is basically saying that you know you have such a poor um you know your your uh video quality is so poor it looks like you know you are it's a webcam and but <laughs> probably because he thinks people always admire him he thought that was a... <laughs> okay let me not that's not a compliment it's, it's not a compliment i want you to get your wi-fi together the wi-fi is bad okay i think it's better okay all right let's do it austin okay you look good how old are you austin i'll be 25 in two weeks 25 in two weeks. So you're a tourist. When's your birthday? May 16th. That's not two weeks. My birthday's two weeks. That's three weeks. Two and a half. Okay, you have Gina Jackson's birthday. Yes, I do. I know. I'm May 7th. I know all Gina. I look, love look how nervous he is. When Aston has to, you know, is taken out of the comfort of the, you know, the the because the passport bro community is a very insular and a very closed community. 
So these people, if they had to deal with the outside world, if they are not really that well, you know, suited for the outside world, look how nervous he is. He's usually like when he's on other passport bro uh, shows, he's cocky, he's overconfident. But now he's like, he didn't even know, like, you know, his birthday was not in two weeks. She is so confident and he is. <laughs> and I like that because it exposes how um, these people, the passport bros, had such a, self, a low self-esteem. The only place they, these people, you know, their passport bros tried is in the passport bro community because, like, a lot of the passport bros have, uh, you know, a lot of very low self esteem. So, you know, Aston is probably like, you know, uh, like, you know, how they say, um, one eyed person is a king in the land of blinds or something. I think that's what Aston is. Uh, like in that uh, passport bro community but when he's outside that community he is nervous he you know he, he doubts his, himself he look at how um, comfortable she is and how um, nervous he looks like <laughs> oh Gina Jackson all right let's do it so we got Austin 25 well 2024 20, be 25 May 16 what do you do for a living I'm a YouTuber as well oh you're a YouTuber okay I don't consider myself a YouTuber, but I respect that that's what you consider yourself. Well, I got this is I guess my I main am a YouTuber, but I consider myself a journalist, but I understand. I understand. I am that's a true. I'm a journalist too. I've said that as well. Okay, but you but do you want me to call you a YouTuber or a journalist? The thing is, Aston truly believes that she knows him, she knows about him. That's why he, he didn't say he's a journalist. But he does it on this show, but he does say he's a short journalist in other show and like on his own channel. So he thinks she knows him when she doesn't. It's obvious she doesn't know him. I want you to call me Austin Holloway. The question is, what do you do for a living? <laughs> YouTube. Okay. Um, do you have any kids? I would hope not. So the answer is no. No. Okay. And where are you calling me from? Dallas. Dallas. All right, let's get into it. We got Austin, Dallas, 25. Um, well, almost 25 may succeed. He's a YouTuber, no kids. Lives in Dallas. What kind of woman are you looking for? I'm looking for black women that have respect for black men. So you think black women don't have respect for black men? Check this out. I've been all around the world, and I'm going to tell you, Afro-Latinas and Africans got y'all beat. Got us beat. And how and how do they have us beat? On every front. Then why not just date them and be happy? I live in Latin America. I'm just here to get my paperwork so I can stay gone from y'all. But what I'm saying is, listen, I have no, whatever your desire is, your desire is. So if you found the, the type of woman that wants to date you the way you want to be dated, why not just focus on her? What would be the point of coming up here to ask for a black woman? that you because don't really feel like I, I want to I'm, I'm still trying while I'm here so I want to see if my mind can be changed no one cares Austin no one cares about changing your damn mind honey really we're not, not going to so, work that so, so nobody has the interest in changing my mind no it's not about nobody having the interest you said you found a group of women that have the interest a group of women that you like we're not mad at it you should date those women I mean you I came think. on you listen, you you came on dissing black women saying that they were not um I didn't I didn't say that. I didn't I never said that. You said that, well, you said that you were looking for a black woman that has respect for black women, and you said Afro Latino and African women have you beat. So my thing is you should focus on those group of women then since they have us beat, right? Yes, but I'm in the United States right now. Okay. Well, there's those group of women live in the United States too. And that's why so I'm my, I guess with. my thing is like if, if you have a problem with black women, we're okay with it. No, 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 no. I don't I've said many times on my channel, the issue is not specifically black women, it's American culture. Well, when I the first I'm repeating what you said. And what you said was you want a black woman that has respect for black men. And then I said, Okay, are you not finding that? And then you said other cultures had us beat. So when you said other cultures um, cultures have us beat, as a black woman, I'm saying, spend your time with them. We're okay. We're, we're not upset. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if anyone is going to come and talk. 
I, I, I have to be honest. I didn't watch it, so I didn't see how, I mean, strange the whole thing is because uh, Austin doesn't seem to understand that he, like you go to uh, on a Black American woman channel and tell her, you know, um, I mean, he's using uh, other Black women to attack Black American women, but uh, he does, I mean, he, he has, I mean, the whole thing that it doesn't make him look good, but passport bros were making it look like, you know, uh, he exposed Kendra. How did he expose her? She, he, he went on her channel and tell her, you know what, black America, the other, other black people, women have you bit. And he's, she's like, so if that is the case, why don't you, you know, stay with those women? Why are you, you know, on my channel looking for um, black American women? And he, I mean, for some, for some reason, he thinks that is somehow a bad look on Black American women. I don't understand it, to be honest. This is talk about us as a collective and say that we're not worthy enough. Well, we bid you. I never now. said that. I never said that. I never said that. But I'll tell you this: since I've been back in the United States, it hasn't been convincing to switch back over. That's why I'm here today. Okay. Well, again, we can proceed. I'm just saying for one. Black person to another. Go where you're appreciated. That's for everybody. Go where you appreciate it. There, there. Don't, don't worry about it. If, if you found a culture or you found a human being that dates you and the one you want, the way you want to be dated, spend your energy there. And that's for any single person. Mm. I would agree. Okay. So Austin, twenty-five years ago. Okay. So the question is, what kind of woman are you looking for? So you said a black woman that doesn't disrespect black men. Anything else? That's the that's the base of it. Well, do you want to give examples in which ways that you have find black women <laughs> so disrespectful? By that, I'm saying she should be respectable when she talks to the man. She should be respectable with the man's time, his wants, and she should be considerate of his needs as well. Because it's okay. all it's always not one sided. I hear in the United States it's always one sided. Well, I can ask you one more question just about the other ethnicities that you said have us be. Have you dated them? Yes, I have. So what happened? Why are you not with them anymore? <laughs> oh, I'm traveling. I'm traveling, so I can't commit, but I've experienced. So why did those relationships end? Just because you were oh, traveling? Oh, they ain't they, 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 I got plenty on standby. They haven't ended yet. Uh, oh, this is a lie, by the way. Um, Austin's relationship with other people, with other uh, women, have been absolutely uh, horrible. Uh, there is this lie that he um, is spreading, which is, I mean, which is that, okay, so this is the thing. Whenever Aston, all the women Aston has brought into his show, the relationship ended horribly. I mean, uh, one, he, uh, the one girl he, you know, he brought, the one Peru, uh, Peruvian girl he had on the show, he claimed that, you know, she tried to set him up to be robbed. Kesa dumped him. Uh, Crystal, he accused her of scamming him. Uh, Kate, Kate um, turned out to be a sex worker. Um, the other, you know, the uh, what is called the um, oh my God, the tiger, whom he calls, uh, you know, um, South African. She, he, he said she was actually a, like a full blown sex worker. Um, so every girl that he has brought on his show has turned out to be. Um, is that the, you know the relationship was a complete lie, or he has accused her of doing something um, almost criminal to um, against him? So, but you, you he wants us to believe that the women that he is not showing up on camera are actually you know like the best thing, like you know they are submissive, they are loving, they take care of him. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. How is it that every <laughs> Women he shows in ca and the, on camera turns out to be a total failure, but there are women in the background that he's not showing us that everything is going you know well and you know well and great. No, I don't believe it. I mean, if yeah, so um, yeah, that's uh, that, that's the one I'm talking about. Uh, alive, alive. Please um, uh, tell me if you are alive. If your name is alive or Ali. So, but he is trying to make it look like, you know, there are people, women whom he doesn't show us that are, you know, 
going you know, going great like no there they are submissive they are waiting for him oh okay ali thank you so th this is a lie this uh the, this the, the story he's telling about you know the women he doesn't show up being you know good you know great women no uh, we know that you know this guy uh, no relationship works out for him and um let me say something too um i mean if you were you know if i if you were to come to my house every day and every day i cook and the food is trash but i tell you you know what mm, yeah maybe you know the when you come to my house the food I, I i i give you might be trash but the one you know when you are not here when i cook is really great you're not going to believe me so ask them has completely trash relationship. He has been traveling two years, you know, for the last two years. Um, in a lot of countries, at least in, our, in the East Africa, Afton is considered a very handsome guy, but he's handsome. He is, you know, he is from America and still he cannot find any, uh, you know, one single woman to be with him, to stay with him. So I, I'm not going to believe this idea that Aston has, you know, a line of women all over the world waiting for him. No. Yeah. I, the, the funny thing is actually, um, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch the, I, I didn't watch it. I only watched his reaction. You know, I, um, because I, I, when I was, you know, when I went to bed, I wanted, I wanted, I watched like 10 minutes of his reaction. So I actually thought she, you know, he at he at least came, you know, came was doing okay. And I was, you know, uh, uh, skimming through uh, the passport bro uh, like space, and they were saying that he exposed her. Da da da. No, she is actually. It's obvious she doesn't even know who the hell he is. That by itself must hurt. Because Aston has this delusion that, you know, everyone, at least everyone on YouTube knows him. They don't. And um, he tries to make himself, you know, to make himself in, in, equal to her. She, she, they are not equal. Kendra has um, product, uh, she, like there are uh, uh, sponsors on her, on her side. I actually have seen Kendra on a mainstream um on a mainstream uh, ad i think she did an ad for is there um i don't know what what that uh, company was but i have seen her on uh, on an ad Aston cannot appear on an ad on on a, on a on a on a commercial because he i mean for one thing he's not well known for another thing the thing he does is so uh, not mainstream like you know uh, the way he talked about women is not business friendly that they will not even have him you know sponsor their product the one uh, you know uh, company that approached him was you know some, something that sells um uh, you know ed supplement that is the only company that has approached you know him for sponsorship and i don't even think they have Mm, that has even worked out for him. So he tried to make it look like, you know, he and she are in equal uh, footing. They're not. She is way, you know, up above him. And he's like, you know, down here and she's like up there. So I don't know, but yeah, the, he doesn't come across well. I don't know if he- Damn, by this is like a plane. They're waiting to board. Yeah, I'm gonna have some black kids, that's for sure. Okay, okay, well, let's keep going. So, um, disrespectful, anything else? And you got to the deal breakers. I'm, this is supposed to be the part of what you want. What do you mean? Like, the question is, because in the deal breakers, you could say, I don't want a disrespectful woman. This question is, what kind of woman are you looking for? So I guess the good qualities that you desire should be your answers. <sighs> like I said, how she talks to the man, his respectful of his time, please hit the gym. Please hit the gym and the pH needs to be balanced as well. So, I mean, and, and it's not that, you know, he is clueless and truly offensive, but the fact that there are 50 year olds, 60 year olds looking up to this guy. What do you want in a woman? The pH needs to be balanced. Uh, she, please hit the gym. I'm like, 
it is so, I mean, so childish. But imagine there are 60-year-old, 70-year-old, you know, 50-year-old men looking up to this guy. I'm like, the thing he said, as he says, are so childish. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. And poor, um, poor Kendra, she had to sit there and listen to this. Childish man. Hit the gym, pH is balanced. I have a lot of questions for you. I will get to your questions, don't worry. Um, anything else before we go to your deal breakers? No, go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay, let me read some of these questions. They're begging me to read these questions. Um, so, he, uh, Marika, I can't pronounce your name, said he paid $100 to argue and to get some Red Bull followers. <clears throat> I didn't pay nothing. I didn't ask nobody to pay nothing. You paid, somebody sent me $100 to pick you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't send it. I didn't ask them to send it. Oh, so somebody else sent it? Yeah, that wasn't my name. Okay, so that wasn't his name. Courtney said he's live now using you. You're live now? I was live first and they said you should call in because I was supposed to date a black woman here in Dallas, several black women in Dallas, but y'all know how y'all are, so. He is, so he wanted to attack black women, but she's not letting him. Um, yeah, so he, he is, like, but I am so grateful to Kendra. I, I, I mean, I have a lot of problem with Kendra, the, you know, the way she, I think she is into respectability politics, and I don't like that. But the way she is handling him is just perfect. And he thought, you know, he was going to get on, you know, on Kendra's show and do a monologue attacking Black American women. But she's not even letting him do that. She is actually, he, she is exposing him. Uh, well, I, I don't, I don't oh, live in Let me say something. The, the, what is called the title for this video is Kendra G exposed by Austin Holloman as a feminist. Oh, oh, so this person is actually a passport pro then. Let me, um, you know, un, unsubscribe. Um, yeah, but sh for one thing, she, she, she didn't get exposed. Austin Holman got exposed. And for another thing, mm, she, uh, Kendra is not a feminist. I am a feminist, and Kendra is far from feminist. Ken Kendra is just pro black woman, which you know, which I appreciate. So yeah, for the black, you and know, not every black woman is the same, right? You can't make one statement. I know they're not because I've been a Latin American. They're not the same. Okay, you have to stop your live on your page, though. So are you live right now? I'll, I'll stop my live. Go ahead. I'm gonna stop my live too. <laughs> I don't have time to try. I don't got time. How about that? I love this. Uh, yeah, she is so. Um, yeah, I I love this because she handled him so well. I, I'm not even you know I'm not exaggerating. I didn't watch the interaction at all, but it's you know, I mean I I watched his reaction, but I didn't know you know the interaction went like this. And the person saying that he exposed her. How did he expose her? She exposed him. Aston is not un, is not like at all. I have to give him this. Uh, Aston is. I like watching Aston because he is genuine, genuinely um, egomaniac, genuinely. Um, self self uh, you know self obsessed genuinely believes that you know he knows more than he does and um, so uh, like there is no fakeness in what he does so it is enjoyable to watch him um i was actually yesterday i was watching him um i don't know if i should call him philosophy but he went on a monologue about the benefit of drinking water and like 90% of he, the thing he says is so unscientific. But I'm like, hmm, that, I, I know like what he's saying is wrong. But the way he was talking, it is like the confidence. 
he was talking about you know something he's completely wrong but he's talking so in such confidence i'm like wow i feel like i could have listened to him like if he had talked about water for one hour i could have listened to him because just the confidence you know and i wish i had that confidence you know being so wrong and bad you know being so confident at the same time so. you stop your lies i'm gonna stop my lies and all the lies and stop okay listen can y'all get can y'all build your own shit, please can all y'all build your own pages and your own platforms without trying to call and use my good ass hard ass work put in the work just like i put in the work and build your own shit. now all you want to do is get black women upset so they can start black, black women y'all should really take the advice i don't care if you want to date a white woman, it is go ahead. I, I, I don't care. Latin women, I don't care. Asian women, I don't care. Go and date them. Don't spend your time worrying about us. We don't, you, well, what you say, we don't work out. We talk back. We want you to make a lot of money. Okay. So you don't want us. We don't want you. It sounds like, it sounds like an equal category. Many, many years ago, and I'll never forget this. And it's so old because it was the Oprah Winfrey show. And Steve Harvey was on the Oprah Winfrey show. And I think he was up there for the tour for um, the tour for his book, um, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. And a woman in the audience said, you know, she was talking about when she sees black men with white women and how it bothered her. And Steve Harvey said, ladies, the black men that y'all see with white women, y'all don't want those men anyways. And I never forgot it. And then I'm, I kid you not, every time I meet a black man that dates a woman that's not black, we don't want him anyways. We don't want him. Listen, let me say this. This I, is my theory too. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. To, I mean, uh, uh, if a black man tells me that he only dates white women, um, I actually, I'm like, that's good. I mean, because... Um, I mean, it is, it means um, he is not bothering black women. So I actually like it when black men say that, you know, they only date white women because. I actually love Kanye West. I know Kanye West in real life and Kanye West has done a lot of things for my career, but I don't know not one black woman that want to walk around barefoot <laughs> around this motherfucking earth with no clothes. I don't, I don't know any black woman that wants to be his wife. Not one, not one. So all the black men who don't want black women, we are okay. And we are giving you permission to focus on the other races that you that you say treat you better. We are, we are fine with it. We are not worried about it. And let me tell you why we're not worried about it. Because we know we the shit. <laughs> let me tell you something. My biggest sauce that God ever gave me was being a black woman. That's my superpower. That's my superpower. We run everything. You can't have anything working without a black woman being a part of it. It's just a fact. Thank you, Mama. Mm, uh, so um, I wish though she had pointed out because Aston actually did something uh, I think is very um, dangerous, which is he tried to weaponize one group of black women against other group of black women. Um, the Afro-Latinas, you know what? Uh, uh, you guys know that when these people, men say they are dating Afro-Latinas, I don't believe it. But the Africans are black women. And he was trying to use black African women against uh, black American women, which is very dangerous. Mm, and I wish she had mentioned that because Austin is doing something even more, uh, more dangerous you know weaponizing one group of black women against a, another group of black women and i i wish i had mentioned that but let me show you how aston was so sh like he was shocked like you could see from his look how scared he looks Talk bad. We want you to make a lot of money. Okay. So you don't want us. We don't want you. 
about you. It sounds like it sounds like an equal category. Many, many years ago, I'll never forget this. And it's so old because it was the Oprah Winfrey show. And Steve Harvey was on the Oprah Winfrey show. I think he was up there for the tour for... Um, Yeah, now I shouldn't have ended my life. When she said, something told me, don't end my life. Don't end my life. But you are scared. I mean, you, you're not going to go viral. Andrew T, thank you for the super chat. Somebody needs to clip this. Somebody please go clip it because I know what she's going to do. She's going to go back and try to clip my part out. See, he really thinks he came across well when he didn't. Actually, he came across like a, a scared child. And... When Art of Will went on a Melanie King show? Oh, Art of Will is a racist guy that they have around them all the time. And this is actually, um, you know, the reason why it's very important for black women to stay away from um, passport bros. Uh, because the passport bros are, um, now we can uh, like confidently say that the passport bros are, um, the black face of uh, white, um, they are, you know, they are racist. They are, uh, I don't want to call them the black face of white supremacy, but they are racist. And um, it is very important for us, you know, to um, to like to, to create a, a way so that we don't have to date these men. Maybe, you know, the, the men we should date are probably nice white men. Yeah. Uh, no, Aston is very, um, yeah, he is completely. That's what Melanie King did. She said, I'm trying to build my shit over hers. Cause you, did you, did you guys see how she tried to undermine me being a YouTuber? She was like, what do you do? I was like, I'm a YouTuber. And she's like, what do you do for work? Uh, you're a YouTuber. Don't you know if this can be a real career? Like she, she now we, we see why Aston, you know, Aston, like the way he, he describes the interaction, it, it would make you, it, it, he made it look like, you know, he was in control of the interaction that you were, you were like, you know, she was scared of him. She was, you know, intimidated, intimidated by him. But we know in reality it was the other way. And this is why when he talks about his sexual conquest out, uh, abroad, I don't believe him. Because Aston, ha whenever he tells a story, he makes himself look better than uh, what he actually was in reality. So look at, you know, he that, I mean, I don't even think he's a liar. It's just that he has a very inflated ego. And he thinks, you know, um, he actually came, you know, like, like he was dominating the interaction. Like, you know, he came off better than he did. In reality, you know, he came off like a scared child, right? She, she started off trying to emasculate and downplay who I was. Like... She tried to say she's a journalist. You're not a fucking journalist. You're an entertainer. This shit is entertainment. There's nobody's benefiting from that show. Bro, it's over in the States. We out. She built her shit off Kevin's dead body. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she a journalist. If anybody, I'm a journalist. You're not I'm a journalist. Um, uh, uh, must be. Austin is 24 year old man and he deserves some grace. Have you all wonder why this 50 year old woman is obsessed with this man? Okay. Uh, Aston is a 55 year old depraved uh, young man um, who has, I mean, by right now, I, yes, you know, t today I was thinking about, you know, a developmental task, you know, what you have to do at each development of your life. Aston right now should be, you know, his developmental task is creating intimate relationships. It doesn't have to be with girlfriends or, in, or, or you know, a rom romantic one, but have intimate relationships. He doesn't have that. Instead, what he is doing and what happens is, you know, when he is 50, when he is, you know, 60, 
he realizes that you know he's he wasted his uh, uh, use, um, you know, trapezing around the world, it not creating any um, stable relationship, and he will not have anyone. You know, when he's old, he's probably going to be miserable because right now he should not be. He should be trying to create a strong, stable relationship. It can be romantic relationship, or it could also be a, you know, friendship. He's not doing that. And you cannot continue, you know, excusing his age. By his age, a lot of us have some kind of, oh, I'm almost a uh, wonder woman. I'm almost 50 and I'm very comfortable with people calling me 50 year old. Um, I'm close to 50 than I am to any other <laughs> age. So yeah, uh, uh, but uh, yeah. So this guy, what you guys should be telling him is that you are 24. Why are you acting like a teenager? The way he is interacting with people, there is no stability in his relationship. That is actually something that should concern you, not me criticizing him. It's giving stalker vibes. Uh, if I am a stalker, why are you coming to my channel? And um, I mean, you are kind of um, enabling my... Uh, unhealthy behavior right when you are coming to my channel and watching my my videos so uh, if i'm a stalker you are an enabler and that's not a good thing for you kendraj is single well so it so am i being single is i mean i, I think being single is one of the greatest thing And so um, there, uh, there is absolutely not, nothing, no, nothing, no problem. Huh? <laughs> I'm single. Um, when uh, I'm the one, uh, no, I don't have less views. I just started four, five minutes ago almost, and I have 410. I had like 530 people when I ended my stream. So no, I don't have less viewers. Give me 10 more minutes. <laughs> but anyway, a journalist, what are you journalizing? I have books, travel guides. Like what, who, what is she journalizing? He calls himself a journalist because he is uh, wandering around Latin America, trying to, you know, to find a, a one, a one night stand. That is not, he calls himself a journalist, but he doesn't want Kendra to call her, herself a, a journalist. I mean, neither of them is a journalist, but if uh, Kendra is close to journal, you know, journalism, then Aston is, Aston is just, you know, a broke, um, sad um, uh, sex tourist. I mean, we cannot even call him sex tourist any longer because he, he doesn't even look like he's getting sex. He is just, you know, we, we saw him in Peru uh, freezing his, his bones. In Argentina, he said, you know, the women didn't, didn't want to sleep with him. In Paraguay, he said, you know, he gave up in, and he was just, you know, locked in his room. In Romania, I think the only place that he got sex is probably Africa, which is sad because Africans should not be, I mean, I hope they charge him for, you know, for sex. But other than that, this guy is not even a really... Um, sex tourist because he's not getting sex he's just getting re like getting rejected i mean huh? i think you were being so cordial yeah i wasn't arguing with her uh he was not being cordial just like people were saying that you know i was mean to uh, to floyd but floyd was cordial cordial to me no it is not how you speak is not as important as what you say and what he was trying to say, you know, he was trying to like, you know, uh, he was trying to offend, like to degrade uh, black women like her. He was not cordial at all. He was very offensive. Going on a black woman's um, channel and telling her that, you know, uh, women like her should do better. They're like, you know, they have to, he almost made it look like, you know, he's some kind of prize that black women, black American women have to like, you know, work uh, to get. I'm like, you are not a prize. You are like, you know, you are, I mean, yeah, you're not a prize. I have received, yeah, I have received like journalists. I'm the journalist. No, you're not. I mean, I'm not a journalist, but no. if anybody's closer to being a journalist, it's me. Not no, a no, sir. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, she she must have already knew about me because for her, because she she came in with an attitude already. She didn't give that. No, it is him who came in with that uh, with an attitude with an attitude that you know I am you know um, a big shot that you know you already you should already know me that because he he didn't even like he didn't give her any information but he expected her to know who he is so she didn't come with an attitude you did and i'm so glad that you put you in your place because that older guy attitude would you hit melanie king no and she, yeah, she did put stuff in my mouth. I said, I want a, I want a black woman that's not disrespectful. That's not me saying black women are disrespectful. I'm giving hope that there are black women that are not disrespectful. I just said, I, I don't want the disrespectful one. Why was that offensive to her? Because she's disrespectful. He looks well, like Eskimo, like right? Whenever he puts this 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 jacket, he looks like Eskimo, but not in a good way. Like, like he looks like a loser. Es like, okay, yeah. undermine me. Like, she tried to uh, oh disrespectful. I just said I I don't want the disrespectful one. Why was that offensive to her? Because she's disrespectful. You are disrespectful. But I just don't like how she tried to undermine me. Like, she tried to, uh, she tried to say, like, make it seem like I'm just like a, a dude with like a thousand subscribers and I'm calling myself a YouTuber. What the fuck? I damn, I'm about to hit 100K with or without her. So, uh, 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 being honest, doesn't he look like an Eskimo? Like when he does this, I mean, a bad Eskimo, but you know, uh, an Eskimo. I mean, but I we already had momentum. I just went on the show because the subscribers asked me to. See, and so he remember he was lying that he got paid to be there. So he was a liar on the show, uh, and you know he was trying to offend black women, to trying to make himself look like a prize. And she put him in his place. So I don't even know why people are saying that she exposed him. I mean, he exposed her when in reality, it's him who got exposed. On that show. And, well, not that show, but the pineapple show. But for the people that really watch my channel, they know that I've been out here trying to date a uh, Black American. We had a date with a Black American woman today. And guess what? She flaked. That's why I told her. I said, uh, but you guys seen how she was bored. How many other people did she say? She didn't tell nobody else. Show me the entire room. It looks like you're on a webcam. How does it look like I'm on a webcam and I'm from this angle? If I was on a webcam, I'd be straight ahead. Come on, cut it out. Cut it out. She, st she had to have already known something about me. She started off on bullshit. Make sure y'all clip that out because she's going to try to clip it out. And I don't even think women are flaking on yeah, here, uh, here in America because we saw that he that he is not really interested in dating. Um, I don't I don't know if this guy is, that, uh, even likes sex right now. Um, he is not. He tries to find an excuse to cancel the date. And it has gotten to so strange right now like he was uh, facetiming this girl but he was also live like the whole time he was facetiming her he was live so it had i mean it had gotten to the point that i wouldn't be surprised that if he has sex he probably would um, you know live stream it right now he is so um i think he he's really <laughs> like a strong relationship is with his subscribers and he probably, if he is going to go on a date, he would uh, live stream it. And if they were to have sex, he would probably, and um, maybe not live stream the sex, but he probably would live stream, you know, the outside of the bedroom. So it has gotten, to, it has become like his live streams 
have become more and more intimate as he has become less and like he has become more and more detached from the like his real life but more and more attached to his life like to his audience like he wants to show them everything uh, he even you know live stream when he goes to the bathroom he live streams everything and i think like because his real life is not going well he is probably like virtual life uh, you know the like the youtube life is probably what his real life is right now like that's probably he has probably more he's probably more in contact with his uh, subscribers than he is with real life people hi rai Yeah, to be honest, he is very entertaining. Um, I could watch him. I mean, I don't like watching him when he is talking to women. I didn't like that, you know, when he, you know he was um, live streaming his. And the thing is, I was like, you know, I, I was checking in to see how many people were watching his. That it's you know there was no. Uh, sound so all you saw was just him you know laying on his bed you know smiling on you know to his um, phone but there were like 80 90 people watching so there are there are probably people Austin supporters who would watch if you just stood there and did nothing they probably would still watch so he actually has, he probably has, his subscribers are probably um, more attached to him than any other person in, in real life is. And I think as Aston is become, you know, as real life becomes harder and harder for him, you know, we now see that he does not have real friends. He does, I mean, the girls are not wanting to date him. He's probably going to be more and more attached to his and subscribers and people like i wouldn't be surprised if at one time he starts just being live 24 hours a day did 100k with it she normally asked that though i didn't hear her as that woman that i didn't hear her as nobody else that she brought up before me that but when i come up there she said oh she gave me a heart i showed her the entire room and she's like show me everything she wanted to see the damn backyard she wanted to see the backyard Okay. I, will, I will not interrupt. Yeah, I will not interrupt uh, him uh, any longer. But guys, please, please, please listen to the way he describes the interaction and how it actually happens is completely different. Completely different. And this should tell you that when he tells us about this nice um, uh, woman he met, you know, in in Peru or you know in Argentina or uh, anywhere else. He's probably not, exp you know, um, the, the, he is probably not telling the truth or he's exaggerating, trying to make himself look good because the interaction that didn't go the way he, made, you know, he, he makes it look like it went. He would, he, I mean, he, I mean, Kendra actually just, she did a great job. She wanted to see the backyard. Mm -hmm. The dog is inside the house. The dog is right here. She talking about show me everything. She wanted to see the bed. She wanted to see the backyard. Like, she, I've never joined a panel and somebody says, show me the entire room. I've never, I'm a YouTuber and I've never thought to ask somebody that. Yeah, looking for anything to clown me, bro. Like, this is yeah. why I tell y'all. But she was really mad. Now, I did know that I did say 
the Afro Latina's got your beat. I had to throw that in there because she kind of had me irritated when she started trying to like she tried she tried to put words in my mouth and shit. I was like, yeah, that's why the Afro the act because see she couldn't argue right because I said the Afro I didn't say all oh, the Europeans or the mestizos or the, you know the Australians got y'all beat. I said the Afro Latinas and the Africans got y'all beat. So she can't say, oh, if you want to date non-black women, uh-uh. See, uh, this is why um, it is so important for channels like mine to exist. Because he said that the reason he said he likes Afro, uh, Afro Latina and African girls is so that she could not say, you know, you are a white worshiper, you know, you don't like black women. So he is admitting that he is using black African women against um, black American women. And that is very dangerous. When you try to make, you know, to use one group of black women against another group of black women, it's very dangerous. Um, it is, he's trying to create friction between the two. And I hope no one buys, you know, this um, very cynical divide and rule. Um, he, he's basically admitting that the reason he said the Afro Latinas and, uh, Af you know, Africans got, got to beat is because not because he believes it, it's because he is trying to use us as should. And that is, um, and I don't even, I mean, the Africans like him, um, Natasha, uh, unfortunately, um, Africans like him. Um, I mean, he's a black guy and he's, you know, a good looking black guy and he, they probably like him, but the Afro Latinas, you know, um, they don't like him, but it doesn't matter. And it, remember, the Afro Latinas are not really Afro Latinas. They are, they're not white, but they're not black. They just called them Afro Latinas because they had, you know, like their, they have like 0.1% black blood. But the Africans, of course, are black, and he's used trying to use them again as Black American women, which is absolutely awful. I'm not just making it up. Y'all see me with the Afro Latinas and the Africans. Okay, put that timer. So she can't call me a black woman hater. Who hate black women? I don't hate. I don't actually. I don't even hate black American women. You do. You hate. I don't black hate them. Women. That's what. That's the reason why I'm still trying while I'm here. So while she busy mad, let me smoke another cigar. We're going to smoke a Mark Twain. We're going to smoke a Mark Twain cigar. Yeah, she was and to I see hope, if my health um, is nasty like, or something. I ha there has never been in my life where I tried my, I, I let people use me against other black people. And I hope, you know, black African women, I'm not talking about Afro-Latinas because I do not really believe that this guy was dating Afro-Latinas. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be only talking to Africans, African women, African black women. Uh, do not believe him. Do not be flattered by his saying about us. It, he's just trying to use us. He, the people, the, the women he loves are, you know, um, non-black Latinas and, you know, white women. Uh, but those women are not accessible to him. So that is why, you know, he's trying to, you know, the only reason he went to Africa was because he got kicked out of everywhere else or, you know, got rejected. So there is nothing should be, um, this is not really. Uh, Baby, cut it out. You ain't gonna never catch me slipping. You ain't, you, my house ain't never been dirty. And I'm not even at my house. I'm at my daddy's house and his shit ain't never dirty. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah, she was some, and you see, I didn't respond to none of that. She asked um, me He didn't date Afro Latinas. Um, Afro Latina for me is at least have one black uh, uh, parent. The Afro-Latinas he dated are, um, you know, Latinas 
who probably that have like maybe you know their great 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 uh, grandparent was black that is not afro latina that is a you know a, that it might be a not white but not black uh, you know black is not the absence of whiteness i think we need to um I don't like that definition that if you are not white, you are black. Uh, I don't like that. Like if you are not white, Asian, then you are black. No, we should not be like, you know, that's like defining uh, blackness as almost like, you know, uh, the lowest ground in, in race. Blackness has to have a definition. White people can look at people and say, oh, that person is not white. But for some reason, black people cannot look at black other people and say, no, that person is not black. We like, anyways, I think that's, you know. Right. To be honest, um, Aston will never improve. And especially right now, because he, whatever he does, he will always get support. He will always be supported. For um, egomaniacs like Aston, uh, being famous is the worst thing that could happen to them because then they cannot learn from their mistake because whatever he, they do, they will still have people to support them. I actually believe that the reason... Um, Trump is still, uh, you know, uh, an egomaniac is because he is a rich man. So whenever he does a mistake, he he doesn't face the consequence of his mistake. And I think with Aston being, uh, uh, you know, having a very devoted follower, which will always support him, is actually bad for him, for, you know, for his character development. And it's not... Ethiopians are notorious for gossiping. Absolutely not. Everyone gossips, and there is nothing special about Ethiopians that I like. There is nothing unique about the way we gossip. We gossip like you know, like everybody else. This is the answer. But I didn't. I only went on there because y'all asked me to. Mm. Uh, do you know that, um, I don't know, uh, sometimes my, my channel is full of Aston supporters. Uh, so Mas says, uh, we have a very important election coming up and this is what we do, uh, we are gossiping. Uh, I'm not gossiping. Uh, and uh, if you want to talk about election, you know, I can talk about election. But remember, Aston is going to vote for Trump. So if you are, you know, if you want to talk about election, you should be talking to to Austin. Why is he talking to, you know, voting for Trump? Uh, Musk said, am I a doctor giving out this, this di diagnosis? Uh, what diagnosis did I give out? Uh, egomaniac is not a diagnosis. Uh, I have never called him a narcissist. So egomaniac is not... Um, a diagnosis. So how how have I diagnosed it? So no, I have not diagnosed it. But after it is, you don't need a, to be a doctor. You don't need to be a therapist or whatever to know that Aston has a very um, dysfunctional and disordered personality. Hmm? Guys, be calling her from prison. Well, that says all I need to know about her. I didn't even know that. You think that's a fucking flex because she got fucking convicted felons calling her? He told me I pick another point. That's how that's how fucked we are as a black community. That we think f motherfuckers in prison. Suge Knight. Because Suge Knight is calling her. That's a fucking flex. That's how we really are a lost cause. We really, we're, we're fucked. As a black community, it, it, if you if you don't leave as a black, let me tell you something. As a black American man, if you don't leave this country, you're fucked. I really, uh, Austin and Floyd have this, um, 
like we see their life they put their life on in display the whole like especially with after now we almost have him on live 24 7. so we see how their lives uh, their lives are and Afton is not winning um, overseas or, you know, of course, in, not in America. So I don't know why he tries to make it look like, you know, he's living it up, uh, you know, in Latin America. He is not. He, I mean, he, in Latin America, he was sad. Imagine going to a poor country like Peru and not being able to afford to rent an Airbnb with heat, uh, you know, with a heater. He, he, he was actually staying in the restaurants to keep himself warm. That is what homeless people do. So he was not winning in, in, you know, in, in, you know, in Latin America. Mm. <laughs> I mean, he was in Argentina or Paraguay or Uruguay, one of the three. Uh, I know it's, you know, in one of, in, in one of the Latin American countries with a large white, uh, a majority white population. And he said that um, the nightclubs would not wouldn't let them in because he's black. And he actually took that as a compliment, as like he was flattered. He, that tells you how miserable his life is. That he thinks you know not being let into a, a, a club for because of his skin color is somehow a compliment. You know. It's, yeah, it's, to the point where we even got black American men. We got black American men that came from her show to come over here and say, oh, she got dudes from prison that call her. You think that's a fucking flex? That's how fucked we are. And that's why I said majority of us ain't shit. And this ain't a new, this ain't a new thing. Like this whole, oh, we like prison dudes. She like, you, she talking about you so much that she had to search your page. Uh, thanks for the shout out. But we're so fucked as a community. We think the criminals is a flex. Now, Wesna, I know you're in the chat. Do white people brag about the criminals of their community? It, it, is, it is. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> but as black people of the United States, Bazef, no. <laughs> felon is a flex. We really got some niggas in this world. Anyway, um, Malcolm B sent a photo of Super Chat. She's the embodiment of everything we don't want in a woman. That's why she's so hostile. Kevin Samuels destroyed her when she tried him. Yeah. Cause I came on her. She was she was hostile before I even got on the show. Like when I got on that, when I did get on there, did you see how stiff her like I was like, yo, like what the fuck? She was all, and I had a smile. Did you see how big? Did you see how big my?
recordings just got better. Why was that offensive to her? Because when she started those calls. We really, we're, we're fucked. As a black community, it, it, if you if you don't leave as a black, let me tell you something. As a black American man, if you don't leave this country, you're fucked. To the point where we even got black American men. We got black American men that came from her show to come over here and say, oh, she got dudes from prison that call her. You think that's a fucking flex? That's how fucked we are. And that's why I said majority of us ain't shit. And this ain't a new, this ain't a new thing. Like this whole, oh, we like prison dudes. She like, you, she talking about you so much that she had to search your page. Oh, thanks for the shout out. But we're so fucked as a community. We think the criminals is a flex. Now, Wesna, I know you're in the chat. Do white people brag about the criminals of their community? I don't think so. But as black people of the United States, being a fucking felon is a flex. We really got some niggas in this world. Anyway, um, Malcolm B sent a photo of Super Chat. She's the embodiment of everything we don't want in a woman. That's why she's so hostile. Kevin Samuels destroyed her when she tried him. Yeah. Cause I came on her, she was she was hostile before I even got on the show. Like when I got on that, when I did get on there, did you see how stiff her? Like I was like, yo, like what the fuck? <laughs> she was all, and I had a smile. Did you see how big? Did you see how big my smile was? I had a pretty big. I had a pretty nice smile. But she had hostile energy. <laughs> Why take her so seriously? Again, ma'am, I thought you've been watching this show long enough. I don't give a fuck about nothing. Do you really think... After this, after this next 10 minutes goes by, it'll be 2025 before I talk about that shit again. She gonna say, he trying to... Uh, so, uh, what is the name? Um, Stephen said that Aston is a hero and a role model for young black men aspiring to do better in the dating market. He is anything decent women were want want body masculine <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, Aston is not a, I hope Aston is not a model a role model to young uh, black men because there is nothing. He is broke and um, he has no talent. The little skill he had, he abandoned it. I mean, he, he, he apparently he was a good barber, but he doesn't want to be a barber. 
he you know he is a a, a, col- a college dropout he doesn't have any stable means of income so he is not um, a role model to any uh, any person let alone a young black man um i have um second cousins and you know and nephews that are in like in, that are teenagers and i would not want them to follow Aston's uh, footsteps because Aston is actually a very bad role model uh, abandoning your whole country searching for sex and not even being able to find sex is not something you know young men should be doing young men right now should be building their career but this guy i mean what he's doing right now is not sustainable at, at 50 he's gonna be broke uh, so he's absolutely not a role model mm, bernie said um i treat Austin like he was 45 years old he is literally a child he's he's literally a child but for some reason old men are listening to him so uh, obviously the old men do not think he is um, a child hmm. Hmm. no i don't He is, yeah, Bernie said he's 24, he will be 25 in a few weeks. Yeah, and, you know, and still doing teenager stuff. Talk about other races of passport bros. If you hate if your head is so strong, your channel should be called Keep Africa Black Passport Bros Free. By the way, I, when I say passport bros, I mean black men. Because I'm, if I'm not wrong, uh, the name was created by black men. The, the, the term was created by black men. But uh, unfortunately, uh, they were not, you know, they didn't um, copyright that name and now it is a, a white man making you know, mer- you know mer- making a merch and selling it and you know benefiting from the, that uh, passport for bro term mm, Aston was literally born in two, 2001 I think he was born in 1999 I have been, uh, yeah, you're right. I have been the planet since 1976. Yes, um, I, I can see that. Yeah, guys, like my video. I mean, if you like me, like my video. Thank you, Rai. You, you, uh, you found him interesting because he's not confined to the prog- programming of Western society. Uh, he, I don't know why uh, he might not be confined to, you know, uh, with the programming of Western society, but he is confined to something because he has, like, he has very limited interests. So yeah, something is confined, confining him. Bernice, uh, do the do the math. If he is gonna be twenty five in two thousand into twenty twenty four, he was born in nine. You know, in you know, one year before two two thousand happened. So yeah, it is nineteen ninety nine. I don't know why all this, you know, all this, how all these people came from my channel. I think probably Aston sent them. I don't know because, anyways, let's go back to watching the entertaining clown, uh, the loser clown named Aston. I'm gonna build his shit up off of mine. Motherfucker, I'll get put on the news. I'll get myself put on the news a second time if I want to really build my shit up. 
My burn is. Let's, I'm let's gonna play something around. just for you. Well, I think it's called YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I built my shit up by my motherfucking self by talking shit anyway. Austin, okay, you look good. How old are you, Austin? I'll be You said go to the uh go to the pineapple show. Yeah, we was already on the news. Yeah, she so she went to my page. She tried to see, so she tried to see if I was really a YouTuber. This is what I fucking do. <laughs> I'm really I'm telling you, she was trying to make it seem. seem like she try she's another youtuber trying to undermine another youtuber i said i'm a youtuber she tried to make it seem like this nigga just playing what do you really do i'm a fucking youtuber what the fuck do you mean it's not class it's not class not race low class whites glorify crime too yeah the motherfuckers ain't getting uh shown
someone told him that white people also glorify um, uh, glorify violence and gl gl glorify degeneracy. He said, "Well, he, he you know he moved the goalpost because these people hate blackness." Uh, so they take every chance they they got to, uh, you know, to talk down on black people, and this is why I say that you know the passport bros are actually racist. I mean, right now I they, there was a time when I didn't didn't like to call black people racist, but the passport bros are actually very racist. They hate their own race. They are act I think they are trying to um, they are doing everything they can to be white men, and unfortunately they can't. The head of Dick Watchers Association is Keep Africa Black Passport Brokery. I'm not, I do not watch. Do you think I would be watching Aston's Dick? I mean, mind you, I mean, yeah, I'm not even going to be a vulgar and gross you guys up. Okay. Yeah, I remember. I actually made a video about it. Oh, uh, Lo Latero uh, said some of Aston's subs are not even black. It's true. The um, some of his um, one of his um, admin administrator. No, what is it called? Come on, help me. moderator one of his moderators is art of will uh, who, who is a racist uh, asian man uh, who says you know um, uh, michelle obama is a man and unfortunately as after as mr g pointed out that kind of uh, talk is not just limited to you know the non-black men in that circle in the passport bro circle uh, they do call black women a lot of black women men uh, so um, but our art of will is austin is uh, moderator um, and remember austin daily watches uh, pearly things uh, So you are, Bernie said, uh, bye, I'm, I'm going to watch more serious topics. This is an election year and illegals are invading the black community. But you watch Austin and Austin never talks about politics. So um, Austin is talking about, you know, uh, women's pH and you think that is more serious than what I'm talking about? Hold on, actually, this is a very good. Um, An Kufu, you said you seen him. What, who, who do you mean him? Uh, Art of Will. Um, you say you seen him in this white supremacist panel talking about black people. Are you talking about Art of Will? He's not just in on their panel. He's actually a moderator on their. Uh, he's a moderator on Aston's channel. He's a moderator on Floyd's channel, and if I'm not wrong, he might also be a moderator on Razor Razor's channel. And you should not be surprised because uh, a lot of uh, the passport bros do hold uh, racist ideologies, racist ideas, um, and. Um, I mean, um, the fact that Aston to, 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 to this day uh, interacts positively with uh, probably things tells you something about, you know, uh, Aston and his followers. Um, I think two or three days ago, I was watching Aston and he said that, you know, he doesn't even watch a lot of uh, videos any longer. He only watches pearly things and he mentioned to other people. And I'm expecting the, you know, the, 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 the live chat, you know, the live chat to be like 
to explore the to be being like how the hell do you still watch pearly things after what she said about you and your ancestors that's what i expected them because a lot of them like 90 percent of his uh, subscribers are black american men but no one it was like well you watch pearly things like it is it's almost like a normal thing, which tells me that probably most of them also watch pearly things. Because like I said so many times, the passport bros hate black women more than they hate uh, racism. Um, they support pearly because pearly, you know, she is uh, like, she says a lot of red pill stuff. So for them, the fact that she insulted their ancestors, the fact that she insulted them, she actually said that, you know, black American are lazy that she prefers Africans to Black Americans because Black Americans are lazy. The fact that she's saying that, you know, which is so racist, so degrading to Black American, and they still, he still watches them, he still watches her, and not only him, probably, you know, a lot of his supporters, uh, subscribers also, tells you that this man hate Black women more than they hate racism. So, Uh, and by the way, uh, I'm so glad you mentioned that Africans are still employed by uh, pearly things uh, because one thing that, you know, I was so, like, I was heartbroken when pearly things, you know, tried to use Africans, you know, try to weaponize us against Black Americans. And instead of Africans being like, no, no way, you know, the, uh, you are trying to use us, you are a racist, trying to use us against, you know, people who look like us. A lot of Africans were flattered. I'm like, why are you flattered by a, a racist white person saying, you know, using you to, you know, weaponizing you against people who look like you? Because a lot of, you know, a lot of black people, there is so much problem. Many videos are going to be made from this clip and her response. That's fine. My thing is this. I Listen, I'm not... You guys know I don't take nothing to heart. I don't really... I don't give a fuck about nothing. I don't give a damn about her getting mad at me or nothing like that. My thing is this. I've done a lot of work to build these damn near 100,000 subscribers. Don't undermine my shit. Don't undermine my shit is all I'm saying. Don't make it seem like I haven't done shit this past two years. That's all I'm saying. I built Austin Holloman. I got my shit trademark and my fucking slogan trademark. Don't undermine my shit. PPBR, like you are not lying. Shit. Don't undermine my shit. Now, her calling me your black mama, whatever the hell she said, I ain't worried about that. Just don't undermine my shit. And here, here's what here's here's hold what on, it hold is. Hold on, hold on, let me put. So is this um, motherfuckers? Is this uh, 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 what PPB Army guy uh, not a black American uh, guy? This can't fuck with me. Cause oh, you you like these women over here? You like yes, and I got two thousand videos to prove it to you. Let me, you know, let me, uh, 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 let, uh, I apologize, you guys, for uh, allowing Put a one in the chat if you want me to go me, to the pineapple show. You know what? Let me, let me block, let me bounce this PPR makeup person. 
Okay, we'll do the pineapple show then. <laughs> okay, let me get out of the car. No, the Amer and here's my thing. For the Amer the bitter ass American black women that's on this channel, check this out. We not gonna ban y'all. We're not gonna ban y'all. You can come over here and call me gay, all that. You can do. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. When I was, before I left the United States, I didn't give a fuck. I love criticism. And my subscribers know that I love criticism. I have people, I have people that support me and troll the fuck out of me on a daily basis, like T Dot with his black ass. And uh, by the way, he's lying. He uh, banned me the second uh, like the second video i made uh, he doesn't you know he's okay with other people but he's not okay with me uh, uh, criticizing him because i think the way i criticize him is very um, incisive like you know he knows that um i am not conservative so um i do not criticize him for sleeping around but i criticize him like you know he does he he does ban people he he banned me he ban, he has banned me for the last like almost eight months we got a lot of them if she had a half brain and basic understanding of business she'd use the cross promotion of marketing and would have kept you on she she really would have because mm -hmm. i know if a, like for example if somebody that had a following came after me on my channel I'm going to go back and forth with them, even if I truly, genuinely disagree with them and they might upset me, which like, you can't do that. I'm going to go back and forth with them. Because no matter how stupid you think you're making me look and I'm going to benefit. Right. For example, the, uh, the black chick in Brazil that had me all on CNN and shit. Uh, she thought by the she way, that girl is not black. They call her black because this man hate black women. What they have been trying to do is whenever, you know, they do not like a, a woman, they call her black girl. Just like, you know, how they are calling that Thai girl, you know, the Thai girl that, you know, he's, he's, um, he was parading around claiming she was his girlfriend. Um, now they are trying to say that you know she's a black uh, woman she is not uh, she is you know a thai girl maybe she is south african but she's not black definitely not a black woman so and this is what they are doing here too they are trying to claim that um stephanie i, I forgot her last name was a black woman she was not she is she's not a black woman She was taking me at the game, but what she really did was make me thousands of dollars that week and got me 10,000 subscribers that week. That's what she really did. She actually gave me a push. So haters, and I'm not a hater. I don't even watch her shit. I don't even, I barely know who she is. But people that are not on your side, you, this is you, bro, this is all publicity. I didn't insult her. I didn't do nothing. But yes, she did come off hella like sensitive at the very beginning. Yes, I was on CNN. You sound like you don't know who she is. I don't think I benefit by knowing who she is either. So you busy you motherfuckers in this chat, these these new American chicks that come over here talking shit about me, 
That's fine. But here's what I do know. I love the black women. I don't hate black American women. I just don't like them. But I'm not going to explain that shit. Go watch more videos if you want to know more about that. Okay. I apologize for encouraging you to go on her show. It was a train wreck. Okay, I should have guys, mentioned that. If you want to come on, your own live looking back, on the would you panel, have I actually no. just like one on one. I answered shit right the first time. I, 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 I appreciate the $10 super chat. She's afraid like you're going to expand greatly. Thank you, Sigma the Prince, for the $10 super chat. Yeah, no, we don't. Yeah. Well, that's, why I, that's why I made it clear to her. Afton is now, I mean, um, the more, it is so great that we ha he is doing this 24 hour seven uh, IRL um, live because we see his real life. Uh, so it's not curated. And what I am, I am uh, seeing right now is that um, he lies. I, I don't know if he lies, he exaggerates. The way he is describing the interaction and the way it happens are not the same. So what that tells you is that next time he, you know, he tells us, you know, how great his life was in, in Brazil, we know that he's lying. If not lying, he's exaggerating. Um, Afton's life for me, when he started, you know, doing, I'm going to let PP, PPB Army in for only one thing, to find out if he's a white guy. Uh, if he's a white guy, I will um, kick him out. Okay, PPB, uh, go ahead. No, I'm not a. I'm not a white guy. No. 